get back onto the climate change debate. And as you know, any time there's a natural disaster now, your ABC or other media, they like to pin the blame on climate change. Heavy rainfall like that causing flooding this week is set to intensify. Climate change is now embedded in all extreme weather events. Record monsoon rains and melting glaciers in Pakistan's northern mountains have caused widespread flooding. Experts say the disaster bears the hallmarks of a changing climate. Even the new king loves to link the C words, climate and catastrophe. It will be a disaster. I mean, it'll be catastrophic. It is already beginning to be catastrophic because nothing in nature can survive the stress that is created by these extremes of, of weather. Well, a new study of major weather events has found no evidence we're living in a climate emergency. The international paper analysed drought, floods and tornadoes and found no evidence to support an increase in extreme weather events. Now, for more on this, I'm joined by Graham Lloyd, who's the environment editor with The Australian Newspaper, a colleague of mine. Good to talk to you again, Graham. I should start off, as you would like to point out, and I would like to point out, this doesn't mean we deny climate change or we deny that some action shouldn't be taken, but it does, this study does disprove the idea that we're living in a catastrophe already. It certainly does, Chris. It's an interesting paper. It was uh, appeared in an uh, international journal this month, uh, and it shows that looking at the physical record of past extreme weather events, it is not possible to detect a, a, a climate emergency at this point in time. Uh, they don't say that there isn't uh, an increase in temperature. They don't say that that will never be the case. But as things stand, it is not possible to see uh, that uh, footprint there. And it's an interesting uh, position to take. It's uh, quite controversial, but as you and I'm sure many viewers would know, really this is the position that the IPCC and others have come to it a long, over a long period of time, that it is not possible to say any single event uh, is produced by climate change. Uh, but the politics of climate change has seen extreme weather really take the front line in trying to uh, galvanise action. So it's resulted in what's uh, called attribution science, where there's a whole new branch uh, that's dedicated towards using probabilistic models to uh, determine whether or not the change in climate has had any impact uh, on events that have taken place. Uh, this is quite controversial. The uh, efficacy of models is keenly debated. And I think the significance of this paper, uh, although many will challenge it, is that it shows if you look at the physical record rather than the probabilistic record, uh, there's no great signature there at this point in time. Yeah, it's not surprising to those of us who have followed it closely. And as you say, when you look at IPC reports and the like, they, they, talk, they tend to talk about it will lead to more natural disasters or lead to these effects. Mm. It doesn't say it's already happening. And the media gets carried away, though. The, the most common word they use is unprecedented. For instance, they'll talk about unprecedented mm. flooding because there was one record in Lismore. And even though it's not a broken rainfall record, there's all sorts of other factors that will affect the height of a flood. I've done it with bushfires in this country. There's been so much talk about unprecedented bushfires. But if you go back in just the media record mm. since European settlement, you can see bushfires that were bigger, bushfires that were earlier in certain areas. And, of course, across the country, we've had many bushfires where many more people have died. So we should respect the records we have, shouldn't we? Well, that's right, and I think a complaint that's made uh, by a lot of people is the goalposts goal keep shifting on those records. Uh, so when we hear this is unprecedented or the biggest or longest on record, often those records only go back a relatively short period of time. Uh, and obviously with issues of climate and extreme weather, you have to look at a very, very broad picture. And uh, the difficulty in the client science, science area is that natural variability has 
great extremes. And uh, we're probably going to uh, have to wait for quite some time before these events break outside of those uh, extreme ranges uh, to be able to make any uh, significant uh, call on it. Uh, and really, this paper is interesting in it. It doesn't say, look, there's no problem, but it does say that uh, the problems we have in, in terms of uh, land use, pollution and all sorts of other things uh, are the ones that uh, perhaps there is an emergency of some sort and we should really be focusing on those. Yeah, there are a lot of issues, environmental issues, that we can tackle and can improve with what we know now, yet they seem all to be swept aside in the public debate by climate change. Always good to talk to you, Graham. Good on you. Thanks. Graham Lloyd there. You can read his stuff in the Australian newspaper.